I'm here with John Finley from CPS. Tell me what you do for CPS, John. So I am the central control tech for our tech services division. Uh, I work on central control controllers that talk to computers using radio, cell devices, anything over the internet. And they're large scale all the way to single property management. And I do hard electrical troubleshooting and I support some of our specialty things like the flow sensing, some of our water magnet, our water saving technologies that we carry now. John, show me what you got going on in the booth. So, uh, I got a couple of our different water saving technologies and upgrade components. The first would be the Pogo Pro Plus. It's a soil moisture probe as well as an asset management tool. This allows you to, instead of bearing moisture sensors, take it with you and sample wherever you want. As well as mark and GPS locate different things including two wire paths, main line locations, valve boxes, splice boxes, heads. Then you can overlay it with the moisture graph to figure out how your heads are covering and why is one area wet versus one area dry. And this also gives you a lot of soil analytics with it. EC, salinity, moisture content, surface temperature and soil temperature all in one package. That's incredible. Is this uh, brand new technology? This is something you all have had for a while? This is an older technology that has been in the golf world for a couple years and it is now coming into the landscape commercial side and it is a, it's been around CPS for the last two years and we're really starting to see some traction with it. Excellent, who's uh, purchasing those from you? Uh, large scale municipalities uh, around here, metro districts, including a stadium management group that runs Bronco Stadium here in Denver. Excellent, what else you got? I see a flow sensor. Yes, I have some ultrasonic flow sensor and ultrasonic flow master valve setups that allow you to install a flow sensor master valve without following the 10 times, 5 times rules that the manufacturer requires. These devices allow you to retrofit it in with, with getting standard control and not having to go with a hydrometer. But no lane length requirement. Okay, so excellent. So you don't have to have the normal length amount that you normally do in order to stop the turbulence so it gets a good That's, reading? That is correct. This is your entire lane length from groove lock to groove lock coupler. The only difference is there is a translator device that you install in the controller to, to make the signal usable for your controller. Excellent. So, I mean, could you have like a 90 degree right there? Yes, you can. Yes, you can have a fitting right there onto the groove lock connector. That's impressive. All right, what else you got here? So, I also have some of the special build controllers we've done. This is a cabinet built for a park down here in Littleton that is uh, in its final phase using equipment that is no longer offered by the manufacturer in a whole good assembly. So we bought parts and pieces, bought the cabinet, and built him a cabinet. So we can custom build and make you the controller you want in the cabinet you want. Excellent. So y'all build anything? We can do a lot of custom work depending on what the customer's needs are. We can't do everything, but we'll at least take a shot at it. Excellent. And uh, what's this Rainbird piece you got over here? So, this cabinet is another custom build for an out-of-state contractor at one of our sister companies. So for this customer, they requested a surge suppression on their incoming power on the junction box. So here at CPS, we have an exclusive power surge suppression box that we can build and install into any controller that we work on or that we build. It is a line conditioner as well as high suppression surge protector. So there's not only a switch GFI outlet in there, as well as high suppression surge. We get a lot of lightning around here and a lot of electrical interference and storms. So a lot of our customers are starting to request this in our market. We're including it on any controller though that we send out of state if they request surge protection. And it's something exclusive to CPS. So I know very little about two-wire systems. In case anybody's watching that doesn't know about two-wire, can you give a real quick summary of what a two-wire system is? Yeah, so a two-wire system changes how you wire and how you work the system. Instead of everybody getting their own zone wire and a common wire, they share the same two-wire path. So every valve gets a decoder device that says, I am this valve. So you can now have station counts not limited by how many terminals you have. It's only limited by the software and the power of the transformer. So this controller can do over 200 stations from one faceplate. And you can control that with a central software, can't you? Yes, this is also a central control capable controller. When you add in the right parts and pieces, you can control it from a laptop or a computer anywhere in the world. Excellent, you were showing me that add-in piece earlier. Yeah. 
So this manufacturer has a cartridge that drops in the back that is a cellular cartridge that then ties to an external antenna for the metal cabinet so it can communicate onto the cell network to get into the cloud to then be accessible by your controller or your computer. So one person can control a number of different locations. Correct. That is the, that is the whole point of central control. One computer, one area that can control multiple sites and locations across a large area. And this also, does it tie into weather reports and that sort of thing? You can do ET-based programming and weather reactivity depending on the central system you get. And they can also usually tie into on-site weather stations to use on-site data and on-site ET that you generate yourself. Incredible. So that is really awesome. John, I want to thank you for talking to me today. And man, I wish you all the best of luck. I know you all are doing great things over at CPS. Cool. Thank you so much for coming out today to Spring Fling. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff, and they'll get you squared away. Get everything you need for that next landscape project from Sprinkler Warehouse, a proud member of the Heritage Landscape Supply Group. Your success is our heritage. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction.